my kids are all teenagers or young adults. And I look at Belize much like um, the founding fathers of the United States looked at the New World. And, and that is uh, endless opportunities. Um, you know, kind of an untouched landscape, uh, you know, a, a culture um, that is uh, growing rather than regressing. And so um, getting to a culture like that early it means that you're a pioneer. And being a pioneer, you know, isn't always easy. I mean, I think when you go to those pioneer festivals and you uh, watch some of the TV shows, they show the, the glory parts of it. But you've got to be realistic. You've got to understand that when you're taking on something as a pioneer, it's, it's got its challenges. It can be a little difficult. And so coming into it with a sense of reality and proper expectations is the first step to being successful. And if you walk into uh, any type of transition of life, large transition like this, with the proper expectations, it's going to be really good for you. So you have to set them for your children, and we did for our children in advance of coming here. And I think that we also instilled into them the ideas that we saw our family values and things that we held important to us starting to fade due to too much electronics or you know too much materialism or just the culture in general that was there. That they noticed that because we would remark about those kind of things. And then they saw whenever they came down here that things started to change for the better for our family. And so for teenagers, I think that if you set the expectations properly and if your goals are similar in uh, strengthening family, strengthening relationships, maybe strengthening even your spiritual walk with uh, God and all of that stuff, um, that, that is a big improvement in your life. For the younger families, the people who have the younger kids, the transition is pretty doggone simple because farm life is really romantic to a young child. I mean, they want to come down and play with the chickens and the, you know, we had 30 kids in our goat herd here this year and it's just a ball watching the, you know, goats jump around, they have springs for legs and um, we lambed this year probably 20 lambs and little baby ducklings and chicks. So the kids love all that stuff. We're getting ready to have a litter of kittens here in the next week or two and puppies all around. Uh, you, you're bringing a kid to that. I mean, they'll drag you. You won't have to drag them. So kids under the age of, of um, you know, probably 13, uh, the transition for them is pretty simple. Um, it's, it's probably harder on the adults because we have been spoiled longer. We're used to being able to just get in our vehicle and in five min minutes uh, um, going and getting, uh, you know, Krispy Kreme donuts and, you know, a nice cup of coffee and, you know, grabbing ourselves whatever we want at the 7-Eleven or something like that. And that doesn't exist down here, so you have to kind of do away with some of the idea of those modern conveniences. Um, and so that transition... Could you be careful with your feet? Okay. I can hear that kind of like... I got you. Um, so that transition... Uh, it can probably be a little bit more difficult for adults. So when you come down to a place like this um, and you're intentional about it and both the husband and wife um, agree on that type of thing, um, then the transition is pretty simple because you're both are looking for the same goal and you're both working towards that same goal and uh, it, it actually is pretty easy. So it, the biblical proverb of being evenly yoked in a decision like this is pretty important.